Hi everyone, it's Jason here. I'm going to show you how to simulate a thousand portfolio paths to calculate value at risk and conditional value at risk all in Python, all in just a couple lines of code. Are you ready? Let's go. So first we want to import just a couple libraries. We'll use NumPy extensively in this analysis, Pandas, and OpenBB for data. So what we're going to do is create a portfolio of sector ETFs. So this is about 25 different ETFs that represent different sectors within the equity markets. You can see that we use OpenBB to get those prices for a couple years. And then we have this beautiful data frame full of equity prices. The next step is to pivot these data and create a covariance matrix. So the covariance matrix describes how each one of these assets covary with each other. Finally, we want to actually set up the simulation. So we'll create an, an empty NumPy array, uh, as well as a NumPy array for the historical returns. And finally, we'll get to the Monte Carlo simulation. So what we're doing here is running a Koleski transform on the covariance matrix. And what we're doing here is creating a series of normally distributed paths with data that are correlated with each other based on the covariance matrix. Uh, and what this does is it allows the portfolio to react to the covariance and the correlation of the assets within the portfolio. And this is typically a better way to simulate reality because as we know, assets are actually correlated. Next, we will run our functions for Monte Carlo and conditional value at risk. So very, very simple, just two lines of code each. We will get those values based on our simulated portfolio and let's plot the result. So as you can see here, we have several thousand paths. Each one of these lines represent a different scenario of our portfolio. And we've got the red line, which is value at risk, and the green line, which is conditional value at risk. So what I was able to show you in just a few lines of Python code is how to create a Monte Carlo simulation and use that Monte Carlo simulation to compute value at risk and covariance. Take care. See you again soon.